the one thing that it draws back to is, which is I think in the general scheme of things is when you think about African history or African literature or even African identity our, our, I was mentioning this to Kelechi over the phone the archive which is the center information of all our history it wasn't written by us you know our history people will be generally like to believe that our history was spoken we passed down our culture orally and there, there are most cultures have. most cultures have passed down their cultures orally but what we know of ourselves what was documented of ourselves intricately wasn't written by us right. yeah so those are the things that we've taken up as our own and as language becomes you know dispersed it's interesting how that will continue yeah yeah so I, I thought it was interesting that on on that colonialism aspect the way she opens the book with Ubu and she's telling it let's say from his perspective right yeah she opens the book from his perspective and he's a house boy mm -hmm. right so which when you think about it, it's somewhat of a, Euro, a European, I said, I said, a colonial, you know, sort of like one of those things. Revolutionary be having a houseboy. Exactly. Still, like, so he's a revolutionary. That's so Western. Yeah. But, uh, right? No, but at the same time, but at the same time, you're, you're in a culture where that is the norm. That is the norm. When I moved back to Liberia, I had someone taking care of my house because, truthfully, Life doesn't allow me to spend time doing that. Like yeah. I'm out of my house all but the where time. Where did that come but that's from? But that's not that's not, right? that's not so the norm. Was that original? That's not the norm. That's an embrace norm. Oh, yeah. So it was an that's embrace norm. No, no. But what I'm saying is, it's a norm at that no. time. Maybe so. It was sort of okay. So maybe at that time, but when you look at the it, legacy of of it, Africa's history, Africa's history, that's, it's not a norm. Going back, I don't so, agree. I don't agree. I don't agree. I mean, okay, I okay, let me so say, I'm not sure. Let me say, say let me say that for Igbo families, for Igbo families yeah. before um, pre-colonial, a man would have like maybe five wives. Mm. So there wouldn't be really much need for, for a house, house girl. girl. No, no. But, but, the, children, but the, children children. Assume, the children would assume. The children would assume that. Role. But they're they're but part of the family. That's fine. This is an, this but, is an outsider kings, brought in. Kings and queens and people that lived in palaces had people to take care of. That's true. You can't say. That's true. You can't say that 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 that's not the norm. That's not true. We're talking about we're talking, we're talking about we're talking about people who are not of monarch. I I understand that, but but if that's what you would strive for, right? Because if that's the pinnacle, and we're all striving to that. When we get to the place where we can have that, we're going to move towards that. We're not going to stay doing what we've always been doing because if what we've been doing is the norm and that's closer to the pinnacle, I'm going to move in that way. Like that's but even if it the sense of a strike house me as a boy, person who would strive to be the rich, fancy type, he's the character who's exactly. supposed to represent exactly. the other perspective. Right. Yeah. Anything can be abused, and you know the whole houseboy, house, house girl thing mm -hmm. surely is, is it's not exempt from that. But in its in, in in its intended construct, it's supposed to be a way for people from the village yes. to get trained yes. in yes. modern, modern uh, uh, skills, yes. right. 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 right? So the, the 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 idea is that they go usually they go and serve someone from their area yeah. because you know they don't understand that yeah, yeah. they're family member yeah. so he's not he they or she's trust. not gonna yeah. abuse you yeah. Yeah. um so there's that trust built in and while you're serving that person and it wasn't actually unusual for uh men my, my dad had a house really? where he really? talks about oh. his house he his dad how <laughs> yeah <laughs> how you know he did everything and uh, because as right, people were moving to the cities and taking on these jobs that kept them away from home for a long period of time, there was a need to have someone at to home help. that would keep the, the, the house, right? So uh, the, the, it was almost a very transactional kind of thing, you know, in exchange for paying your school fees or yeah. teaching you a yeah, skill yeah. here in the city, you do this, yeah. you do the house. Right? So it's very, it's almost like having a housekeeper in today's context. Yeah. Right. So I, I know that, the, uh, so I think, my opinion, misguided, uh, <laughs> Both Nigerians and non-Nigerians say, "Oh no, it's it's modern-day slavery." Um, I, it's it's not because it's not capturing someone, be you know, against their will and bringing them right. to a, right. a different place. Yeah. Usually, in accordance with that yeah. person's family, there's usually an understanding that this is what 
it's supposed to come out of this right. arrangement, oh, that's so true. And, and and it has a, a finite, uh, <laughs> so it has an end. Yeah. It has an end yeah. to it, yeah. um, and, and you know, we we can call it up at any time <laughs> as well, which yeah. it doesn't have. So in so many ways, it, it, it's it's actually a lot more like. Uh, housekeeper arrangement in, in the Western context yep. versus slavery. I've always had. You know, it's